Accessing your WordPress login page should be simple. By default, most WordPress installations use the following URL structure, your website.com slash WP dash login dot PHP. In some cases, your web hosting provider might change the default URL due to security reasons. That's something you can also do yourself by using plugins. And it's something we suggest you look into. However, if you try accessing the WordPress admin directly, but you're not already logged in, the CMS will reroute you to the login page instead. You could access that at yourwebsite.com slash WP dash admin. Although finding your WordPress login page is simple, there are some issues that might prevent you from accessing your dashboard. Let's take a look at the four most common problems and how to resolve them. Number one, lost or incorrect password. This one is simple. Click on lost your password and WordPress will ask you for your email address that it could send the reset link to. If you forgot your email or no longer have access to it, you'll need to change the password through your database. We have a guide on how to do this, which is linked in the blog post that can be found in the description. Number two, disabled cookies. WordPress requires you to enable cookies for its login process to work. If for some reason you've disabled cookies, you'll need to enable them to move forward. That process should only take a minute or two, and we recommend you Google how to do it for your specific browser, since it is a little different for each one. Once you turn cookies back on, you'll be able to log in to your website. Number three, too many login attempts. A lot of WordPress security plugins can disable the login functionality if they detect too many failed access attempts. Limiting login attempts can help stop attackers who try to brute force their way in. If you use a plugin that includes this feature, you may be able to disable it for specific IP addresses. Otherwise, you'll simply need to wait for the cooldown period to reset. And finally, number four, the login page fails to load. Some WordPress errors may prevent your login page from loading. For example, you might see a white screen of death when you try to log in or even encounter an HTTP error code. The approach to dealing with each error changes depending on that specific error. To get you started, we have guides for many of the common WordPress errors you might run into. Check out the blog post linked in the description to see each one. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.